Imagine a spacecraft, after a months-long journey, finally touching the rust-colored surface of Mars. This isn't science fiction, it's history. As the engines powered down, the silence of the Martian landscape enveloped the crew, a stark contrast to the bustling control rooms back on Earth, where cheers and applause erupted across continents. The first human spacecraft on Mars marked not just a milestone in space travel, but a monumental leap for human curiosity and ambition. The crew, a handful of individuals representing humanity, experienced a mix of overwhelming joy and the heavy burden of pioneers. As they opened the hatch, the first breaths taken on this alien world were not just theirs, but belonged to all of us, watching with bated breath through screens millions of miles away. Their first steps on the Martian soil were tentative yet determined, imprinting not just their boots but also the dreams and hopes of countless generations. With boots on the ground the real journey begins. Building a home away from Earth is no small feat. Imagine the monumental task of constructing the first Martian habitat. The engineers and scientists started with the ground up, quite literally, using the red Martian soil itself. This innovative approach employed 3D printing technologies that were adapted to work under Mars's unique conditions, thin atmosphere, extreme temperatures and all. The process involved extracting and processing the iron-rich regolith of Mars to form a sturdy, reliable building material. This regolith was then fed into large-scale 3D printers, which meticulously laid down layer upon layer to construct the walls of the habitats. The design of these structures was not only functional, but also maximized efficiency and resistance to Mars's severe weather conditions. However, the challenges were far from trivial. Mars presents an environment that is nothing short of hostile. Dust storms could last for months, obscuring sunlight and complicating solar power efforts which were crucial for the construction and survival. The extreme cold also tested the resilience of both the habitat materials and the construction equipment. Engineers had to innovate relentlessly. They developed new composites, enhanced the printers to withstand Martian dust, and even created habitats that could self-repair minor damages using materials available on the Martian surface. Each challenge brought with it a solution that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. From mere survival pods to a burgeoning colony, our new home on Mars took shape. Every rover's wheel that rolled changed our understanding of Mars. As the red dust settles following the historic arrival, the real adventure begins with the deployment of rovers and other pioneering tools. These mechanical explorers, equipped with cutting-edge technology, embark on a mission to map the uncharted Martian surface, turning alien landscapes into familiar ground. Imagine the scene. Rovers, bristling with scientific instruments, traverse the rugged Martian terrain. Their primary mission? To uncover the secrets lying beneath the surface. Among the most exhilarating finds are the substantial deposits of water ice, Hidden just below the surface, these deposits are not only vital for the potential creation of sustainable life support systems, but also hint at Mars' wetter, perhaps more hospitable past. But the discoveries don't stop at water. The rovers analyze and send back data on various mineral resources scattered across the Martian plains. These minerals are not merely rocks, they represent potential building blocks for future Martian colonies resources that could one day support the construction of homes and the fabrication of tools directly from the Martian crust. The exploration also brings into focus some of the planet's most intriguing geological formations. From vast canyons that dwarf the Grand Canyon to towering volcanoes that rise high into the Martian sky, each formation tells a story of a planet that has been sculpted over billions of years by volcanic activity, impacts, and possibly by flowing water. These geological surveys and mappings are not just academic exercises, they lay the groundwork for future missions and long-term habitation. Understanding Mars's geology helps scientists prepare for the challenges that future colonists might face and harness the opportunities that the Martian environment offers. Through the lens of our rovers, we've watched sunsets on Mars, seen dust devils dance across its plains, and witnessed the silent beauty of a world waiting to be understood. Every image, every data point collected, 
brings a surge of excitement and a plethora of questions. Each discovery on Mars brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. Mars became not just a place to live, but a laboratory for groundbreaking science. On the rugged plains of Mars, astronauts and robots alike have turned the red planet into a bustling hub of research and discovery. Imagine waking up every day to a world where every rock, every breath of thin air and every pinch of red dust holds a key to the universe's past. A major focus has been the Martian soil itself. Scientists have embarked on a daring agricultural experiment, growing food directly in Martian regolith. By tweaking the soil with earth-based nutrients and employing advanced hydroponic systems, they've managed not only to sprout leafy greens, but also to cultivate hardier crops. This isn't just farming. It's rewriting the rulebook of botany in alien conditions. Meanwhile, Martian meteorology has become another thrilling area of study. Understanding Mars's weather patterns is crucial for future colonization. Through collaboration with Earth's top meteorologists, Martian scientists deploy rovers and weather stations across the planet, tracking everything from dust storms to temperature fluctuations. This data is vital, feeding not only scientific curiosity, but also practical needs for planning daily activities and future habitats. In the realm of astrobiology, Mars continually astounds. Experiments designed to detect microbial life are ongoing with samples often sent back to Earth for detailed analysis. Each finding adds a piece to the puzzle, hinting at Mars's potential past habitability and its role in the broader cosmic ecosystem. Our red neighbor is slowly giving up its secrets. Life on Mars isn't without its trials. Among the myriad of challenges, radiation, relentless dust storms, and the psychological impacts of isolation stand prominent. Let's delve into how the brave settlers on Mars have not only faced these challenges, but turned them into opportunities for innovation. Radiation on Mars is a fierce adversary, with the thin atmosphere offering scant protection from harmful cosmic rays. To counter this, engineers have developed radiation shelters made from regolith, the very soil of Mars itself. These shelters effectively block a significant amount of radiation, providing safe havens during solar flares and cosmic events. Dust storms on Mars are another colossal challenge. They can envelop the entire planet and last for months, disrupting solar power generation and damaging equipment. The solution? Settlers have engineered wind-resistant structures and introduced electrostatic dust shields that repel the fine Martian dust, ensuring machinery and solar panels remain operational. The psychological toll of living on a distant planet isolated from Earth is profound. To combat this, a robust support system has been implemented. This includes virtual reality environments that simulate Earth, helping to combat feelings of isolation and homesickness. Additionally, regular communication schedules with loved ones back on Earth are maintained, and communal living spaces are designed to foster a sense of community and support among the settlers. Through ingenuity and resilience, settlers turned challenges into stepping stones. These solutions not only ensure survival but also enhance the quality of life, paving the way for future missions and long-term habitation on Mars. Mars brought the world together. The journey to Mars wasn't just a series of rocket launches and daring landings. It was a testament to the power of global collaboration. Space agencies from multiple countries, along with private enterprises, have intertwined their expertise, resources, and dreams to turn the Martian colonization into a reality. Take, for instance, the collaboration between the European Space Agency and Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency. Together, they developed sophisticated life support systems that are now crucial for sustaining the Martian colonies. Meanwhile, private companies have revolutionized the way we transport materials across the vast emptiness of space, making frequent supply missions both feasible and economical. Moreover, international think tanks have played a pivotal role. They've brought together the brightest minds from around the globe to solve complex problems, ranging from radiation shielding to sustainable food production on Martian soil. This unprecedented partnership across borders and sectors is not just about scientific and technological achievements, it's about a shared vision for humanity's future. Unity on Earth extended to Mars. 
the first decade is just the beginning. As we cast our eyes towards the horizon of the next decade on Mars, the plans are as boundless as the Martian landscapes themselves. The initial steps of colonization, marked by habitats and research stations, are set to transform into expansive living complexes and advanced scientific hubs. Imagine, if you will, vast domes rising from the red dust, under which greenery flourishes and Martian cities buzz with activity. These are not mere fantasies. They are blueprints for the next phase of human achievement. The concept of terraforming Mars, a process to make this alien world more Earth-like, is moving from the realm of science fiction into tangible scientific debate and preliminary experimentation. The potential for a self-sustaining Martian society hinges on our ability to harness and recycle Martian resources, water extraction from ice, carbon dioxide processing for oxygen, and soil regeneration for agriculture are just the beginning. Each innovation paves the way for more permanent settlements, reducing Earth's supply dependency. Beyond the technological and environmental implications, consider the philosophical impact. Establishing a multi-planetary species challenges our very identity, expanding the human narrative from a single planet story to a cosmic saga. This shift not only redefines our place in the universe, but also highlights our responsibilities as stewards of new worlds. As we continue to innovate and overcome, the foundation we built over these first 10 years on Mars is just a stepping stone. The dreams of a thriving, dynamic society on Mars, once a bold vision, are evolving into plans, into actions. On Mars, our dreams of tomorrow are being built today,